Hello, Mr. Nigren here. Welcome to Warcraft Total War version 2.3. I'm playing as the Night Elves or the Kaldorai. You're also controlling Terramor. I don't know if I will continue to control Terramor the entire campaign. It's a Night Elven campaign. But this Terramor is the ally of uh, the Night Elves in Kalimdor, this continent. I decided to play both, otherwise, they would never get aid because we marched an army down to Terramor and felt like also having Terramor aid in the battles. Okay, then we have Northrend and then Eastern Kingdoms, here we do not have any areas or troops with the Night Elves or Terramor. We are only fighting in Kalimdor, fighting the Horde, about to fight an army here, Gr Great Orc army. Mostly Orc of three models, we have a General Aetrig, Bodegard of Korkron, Korkron Bodegard, Heavy Infantry Bodegard. They have units like the Peons, now they have Dark Horde unit info cards, so... Um, but some of their units do, do have uh, appropriate unit info cards. Uh, so the Dark Horde has like the same units, just different skins, but there are some different unique units. The Grants are different, for example, different model. Then, then they have different unique groups like the Augurs, and, and the Trolls are different. Well, well, the ordinary horde have torrents and, and different trolls. Okay, we will fight this battle. So we have armor strength ratio two three in their favor. I wanted to join forces with this force, but I managed to move it wrongly, and then we attacked the settlement. We needed to take it before we could reach this area. If I had moved this army appropriately, appropriately, then then I could have moved it to the, to the other army to to turn this army, but. I decided to move it uh, to the opposite end of this arm that is attacking now. The army under 8 reg and this captain. And uh, then it got stuck and then I couldn't move to around it to the army. I needed to take this area first, cr the crossroads. So And then they decided to attack here instead. So now we can either fight the battle, we can retreat on the map, which means they will take two steps back and be attacked again, and then we can't retreat. I won't do that. Because then we would lose the hero, the leader, one of the leaders. So the knight elves have two leaders. They have a cool leader, Tyrande Whisperwind, here leading this army. Then we have a cool leader, cool leader uh, I believe, uh, Malfurion as well. Which is like her husband. So they are married. They are leaders of the faction. <coughs> and uh, yeah, we have another army over here under Neisha. But it's too far away. We'll fight this battle and uh, then we'll retreat in battle. Because if we retreat in battle, they will retreat to the nearest allied territory. It's either the Terramor faction or their own lands are here. If they are uh, next to like the sea, they might actually die anyway. Because then they have no way to, to escape unless they have a ship nearby. So we will fight this. I believe they will retreat to their homeland or to Terramor. Let's start the battle, fight the battle on the battle. So a custom Night Elven or Kalora vo voices in the mod now. Same with the High Elves and the Blood Elves, and they use the same. Hyels and Blood Elves, and then we have Lord on Voices too. They're shared with some other humans, but only the units share voices, not the actual narrator and such. Okay, start deployment. Of the night, assemble. So in this battle, certainly want to waste the mercenary troops. The Merkners also have the Night Elven voices. Warriors of the Night! The Druid of the Talon, they turn into be uh, birds actually in melee, but they have a really good Pruit Elf uh, if they are in arranged combat. Ah, uh, we have a Bowman unit there too. Let's move. Place it fire ammo on. We have some uh, infantry units. 
Lee Cavalry and Infantry can be in the same group. A general here too, we can let him fight as well. Even if we lose them. Yes, yes, okay, and Tyrand will um, think he will be behind the army. And we kind of want to control her in third person. I don't know why Steam is not uh, online. Can't really see the game very well. Uh, usually, I should be able to see it there. Worked previously. Anyway, we will start the third person mode, the immersion mode. I like controlling the general in battle. Even if the game will become a little bit less stable, chances are it will crash more often. And I use it, but it's fun to use the hero. In third person, it takes a bit to load. I start it up here. We need to tab out and then start it up. So when you use Bandicam or something similar, you need to pause the recorder before tabbing out, or the video will be cut in half. But with uh, Nvidia Shadow Player Recorder, it doesn't matter continues to record even and when you tap out and such it records the screen and we are controlling the hero perfect start uh, no we will also place this army under AI control start the battle let our play. enemies beware we'll attack the infantry then we'll order the range units to attack, so they have the miracle advantage in the battle. These are spearmen. We want to attack their range troops if they have any range troops. The range troops. We want to attack the spearmen. These the same. Because they have spear throwers too. But I think these are spearmen. Grunts. Peons, some warriors, or orc warriors. <coughs> Here we have archers. Attack them. We have some spear throwers. We want to attack as well. Gunners. Gunners, I think, could be where they are. We will move them later. Okay, let's then pause the game. Circle and shoot formation on. We train as bodyguard. and I enabled running just now. So we have a light weather. Could be bad. Might lag more. Hopefully we will avoid lag. Usually the game won't lag, but in uncertain weather I believe in the, the the sun is really bright colored. It might actually cause lag. Any mode. I'm able to. Want to our boat to fire because the camera will zoom in on the on the arrows, the boat guard. It's annoying when we control the hero in third person. I think Bant, the chief, and the main modeler of the mod who rigged all the models. I coded all the models in the game, except the ones by Eogans, like the, the humans and the orcs. The, the older orc models and the older human models uh, were 
rigged and coded into the game by Eogen Wolf again in 2017, but I coded like 80% of the models into the game and uh, banned rigged 80% of the models. I did, I did a good job on the own priestesses. I made a like this too. <coughs> so that the wind the force is like her skirt to <laughs> move up to so see the, the ass when she when the tiger runs. <laughs> <coughs> that was his idea. Shit, the mage. We will need to avoid our own fire. We can't be killed by our own troops. Gunners have started to fire now too. they would fire if the enemy so that's why <coughs> I knew they would fire if the enemy got close enough I don't want the bodyguard to fire when I'm zooming in on the general this projectile of the druids of the talon, by the way the druids of the claw have the same projectile, it's really effective, so they will be really effective as long as they have ammo. I think they will run out of magic or mana, uh, which is ammo like, they have limited ammo I think, I could be wrong. If I failed and forgot about the unit they might have unlimited ammo, but I thought I fixed all the casters or most of them so that they would have limited ammo because they were too OP or overpowered and they didn't have limited ammo of course the moon priestesses are good too they have limited uh, a limited amount of, of arrows they can't fire too much they are less uh, effective actually than the archers because they have fewer arrows and fewer numbers they are better in melee they are cavalry. Seems uh, like uh, the orcs of the horde are still numerous. So they move towards the hero. Fortunately, we are faster. Noble death. We lost our general, the other general. That's fine, it's a generic general. I didn't care about him much. I didn't want him to die previously because he's a general, he can still lead the armies. But in this battle, I felt we could sacrifice him. His bodyguard was good. He had a generic, I believe, Night Elven Sentinels bodyguard and an infantry bodyguard. Heavy infantry. That's good to sacrifice. They will surely infantry. feel this loss. Didn't have much infantry, sir. So. Many we killed fifty seven per cent and we lost forty one per cent. Still gone pretty well. I think they had a Tauren unit, one of those big Tauren units. It's a smaller Tauren unit, but they had a bigger one, I think, too. Shit, yeah, they had one over there. We need to do an alteration, we'll pause the game. The Druids of the 
Talon stop firing. And then you'll need to attack the Tauren specifically. The Bloodhoof Thunderhose. Because these Tauren are really powerful. You might win the battle for them. <coughs> the druids of the Talon have been ordered to only fire the Tora and Thunderhoofs now. By the way, might want these guys to fire on them too. Okay, so. Retreat before it's too late! So if they run around in a circle, as, as long as they move, the projectile won't move in on their arrows. I think. Attack the orcs, the bodyguard. Kind of want them to attack the right units. Oops, we don't want our druids to fight in melee. Goddess take you. Oof. Retreat before it's too late. Neither to move back with the druids. Mm -hmm. Torrents are charging to avoid them. What are these druids doing? So, this is their talent form. fire at the same time we won't zoom in on them.
attack anymore. I think it's time to retreat with the druid. They are too valuable. We'll attack the Toran with the bodyguard from afar. The druids with the talon have this form in melee. It's a pretty cool feature that they switch forms. There are a few such units in the game. We also have the druids with the claw that turn into bears in melee. We have a demon hunter unit that can turn into Humanoid demon hunters in melee, and they are demons that fire a beam, and they are ranged. Oh, they walk through so there. The enemy is weakened. Strike, my warriors! have um, killed 78% and lost 67% we might be able to None win stand against the Kaldurai. we lost all the cavalry and most uh, all the infantry too we only have range units left and yeah only, only ranged troops Control, then they stand and fire and move away when the enemy gets close. If I have them under air control, they will just charge in melee and get themselves killed more often than not. But melee cavalry and uh, infantry are usually better placed under AI control as the AI can handle them pretty well. Enemies incoming over here. They have no ammo either. Let's retreat at the border guard. Hero, unlike other units, will uh, replenish the bodyguard after a while. So it might be worth it to attack a little bit. We'll do that. Change my mind. We won't attack this Toran. We'll attack the Hawks. Oh dear. In melee. They can't kill the Toran, I believe. Might be difficult. Kill their infantry. Change my mind. Not the spearmen. Maybe we'll kill them. For the None stand against the Kaldurai. The cavalry. Oh, 
they're broken. still have three Nightalan archers and we have the Hivermen and the Gunners. They will surely feel this loss. <coughs> I see. 41 Gunners still alive. Pirates. None stand against the Kaldurai. Move away. Charge again. Those are the spear throwers. Okay. I have probably lost a few of the tigers now. Could be wrong too. None stand against the Kaldurai. Alright, good job. Continue. I mean, we killed now. We killed uh, 94% and lost 71%. I think we can win this. Thanks to the Borgar. Unless this tour and we'll win the battle for the enemy. But maybe our archers have taken out the tour. Bodyguard, 10 of them. They have 36 old spear throwers. Let's attack the spear throwers. None stand against the Kaldurai. Broke! Perfect. We'll 
kill all of them. Capture them when they are killed, when they are broken. The count is captured. They look like a killer. For the goddess. So you capture prisoners. If you kill them when they are broken. And they survive the battle. Unless it's a siege battle. Then they are put to the sword after the battle. We are poised to strike. Okay, we'll attack the other unit here, the orc spearmen. Too. Cochrane bodyguard started running there. Thus to the enemies of the sentinels. Enjoy controlling the hero when they ride mounts. It's more fun than a they clever are tactic. Dismounted. They're more powerful and doesn't die as easily. It's fun. This is the first mod where I control mounted heroes. So just try and the whisper in here on the tiger, or Jane and Proudmore on the horse, or Cenarius. The Keeper of the Grow, Centaur. Well, he's more like a mimic in a... some kind of elf and uh, an elk. Here's their body, but they will fight to the death, I believe. Here we have some archers. They have spent their arrows. Can only fight in Lina. We use our bodyguard to kill their bodyguard. A clever tactic. Try to do smaller, shorter episodes so we don't have to spend like uh, three hours or something processing a video and then like one hour uploading and then like five or six hours processing on YouTube into HD. It's better to do shorter videos so we can be more quickly uploaded. Goddess, take you. Thus to the enemies of the Sentinels. Continue the battle. Let's kill the general, Aetrig, of the Horde. He was a custom general, I believe. One of the known generals. But Fred is custom model with some others. He used the Warcraft 1 hero model, I believe. Added to some of the known generals of the horde. The reason for that bug when they turn is because of the medieval tutorial war and you know the project tool, or M2D EP tool, because it's a bug the animation, so that when some of the cavalry units die, they are in the air, or the riders are in the air, or they when they turn that the Right, the turn uh, like a second after the mount, which looks bad. I need to use the tool, otherwise, certain units crash in the game. 
Okay, so we have uh, enemy unit of deer. I don't see uh, they will hunt it down. <coughs> the Moon uh, Priestess bodyguard was actually good in melee. It's not as effective from afar because the arrows are too few. I might increase that later. Uh, the numbers are not that great of this unit at least, so... I, I had uh, the impression that the archers were more effective. crossroads like the land between the horde and other areas the game in, in vanilla wo well forecraft vanilla wow okay um, here's the enemy unit let's kill him The wrath of the heavens. Good job, poor god. So we won the battle. Heroic victory. The leader to seven hundred seventy nine night elves lost four hundred eighty four. So we lost about half the army. We lost, I believe, slightly more than half actually. Uh, many remaining two hundred ninety five. And we killed 2,788, so we killed way more than we lost. And also, I believe a lot of that was thanks to that druid mage. We retreated when it had no ammo left. And then we had 104 prisoners taken. Captain Gress, I believe, of the Horde. The Orc army, they had 2,619 Horde Orcs. We lost to 2,514. Only 105 remained after the battle. They killed 475 of our troops and General Atrig of the Horde. 378 men lost all of them, so they're remaining alive. They killed 49 of our troops. Here are the battle statistics. The battle took place in the Northern Barrens. Outside the crossroads. We'll take that settlement now too. I believe Atrig was inside of the settlement and the other army was outside. Okay, this is year 22 of the Dark Portal. So, 22 years, I believe, after Warcraft 1. Okay, and here we have the battle statistics. Casualties inflicted. Moon Priestesses killed 400, 406 enemies. Pretty good. An archer unit killed 316, I believe. Sentinel Spodgo, the other hero that died, killed 96 of the enemy. Druids of the Talon killed 753, really good. Okay. An epic battle, was fun. Shut down the tool now so it doesn't cr cause a crash after battle. It's annoying when that happens. Oh! 
fear the night. Oh, our smaller force is under attack now. I don't want to retreat in uh, on the map, then I will be hunted down and attacked again. Okay, so let's save the game here. And uh, we could probably retreat or fight the battles. So the enemy has a lot of infantry troops and some ranged troops, like spear throwers. We have uh, three units of archers, two units of infantry. I don't believe they can win. I think we should retreat. We could probably kill some from afar with archers. We have a 2-5 disadvantage. Our troops are led by Captain Cantrell. The night Elves with 433 Night Elven troops. The enemy of the, ho the Horde is Captain Usak. 1214 men, or 1214 walks actually, and trolls, the dread spear, troll tribe, trolls loyal to the horde, dark spears actually, not dread spear but dark spear. Okay, we'll uh, start this battle. Thunder death, my lord. Don't care about controlling any captain. Be careful. In third person. Trust in this is a captain of the night elves. The bodyguard is the same as for the general. Sentinel's bodyguard. Okay, loose formation with the archers. And group. We can move them back a bit. Infantry too. Okay, and uh, yeah, I think we will uh, we'll take a pause here. Actually, I need to do some personal business. See you soon. All right, I'm back, Mr. Nigren here. Welcome back to War to the War. We'll continue with this battle now. Had to do some personal businesses. Okay, so we're back. I'm also live streaming on Steam, but it might be interrupted. Also, the video won't be saved on Steam. It will be shown to anyone that goes into the Medieval Total War Kingdoms Definitive Edition page on Steam and then click on, I believe, uh, Community Hub or something. Then it will be streamed there under Broadcasts, I believe. So, Medieval Total War Definitive Edition and then Community Hub and then Broadcasts, but will stop playing when I end the stream and the video won't be saved there. So I'm also using the NVIDIA Shadow Play Recorder to record the, the, the game for YouTube. I will upload the video after. Okay. We will start the battle. The enemy armies are here. Orc peons. Runs. More peons, the reverse unit. More spearmen. More spearmen. I believe the spearmen are basic. Same with the like uh, spear throwers, they are the reverse range unit. Peons are the reverse unit overall. These uh, dark spear headhunters are pretty good ranged units. They also shoot the javelins, but they are better than the orc spear throwers. Here are the orc spear throwers, they have shorter, smaller javelins. And the orc grunts, they are actually decent. They are medium troops, I believe. Infantry. Oh, 
Night Elves, the Sentinel's bodyguard, Captain, normal bodyguard of the, the faction, and then we have the basic heavy infantry Night Elven warriors here. The Sentinels, they are the lead, and the warriors, they are just basic troops. And we have They'll never know what hit them. Leave these guys, the Moonstrikers, they are. Leave the archers, or uh, all of them are lead compared to other factions, but um, in this faction, I believe they are medium and the archers are basic. But uh, compared to some other factions, I believe these first uh, Night Elven archers are really good. So they have really good units, the Night Elves. Compared to some other factions, especially their ranged units. And their ranged cavalry units. Let's uh, fast forward. Battle takes forever otherwise. Try to kill as many of them as possible from afar. <coughs> we'll try to kill as many of them as we can. So the infantry, I think, they can be sacrificed, maybe, or we will retreat them. The warriors could be sacrificed, I think. Enemies are dead. They started far away. Infantry. Might be needed to in the other army of Tyranna. We lost almost all the infantry. We'll, uh, I believe we lost all the infantry, but restored some after the battle. distinct possibility. Here's their captain. Oak captain or horde captain. Ah, our archers have started to fire. I believe the moonstrikers have a few numbers than the archers. They have better armor, better attack. Have normal speed on. We let our troops be in guard mode. Protect the archers. Trolls are starting to fire back at us. They can hide anywhere, I believe, the night elves. Whenever we kill, we kill 9% and lost 2% to their javelins. Yeah, we are pretty effective from afar. We killed 11% now. The archers and the uh, moonstrikers will move back if the enemy is too close. We will fight the peons. Their grunts might be better than the warriors here. Not the sentinels. Please reveal against the peons. They have the numbers here. Let's move against those guys before they attack our troops there. Another unit of grunts. I can't zoom in on the unit anymore as I have not uh, enabled the two, the, the third person mode in this battle. Didn't bother, so we didn't have any hero here. Yeah, 
We will lose our infantry, but that's fine. Our knight will win all archers. Moon Striders will move back. Retreat before Water. it's too late! Ah, they had at least three units of grunts. Some of them managed to pass our troops. Something else. Eight of the warriors. Total out numbered. Oh, they're moving back with this unit. They are coming. We are almost. Uh, we are losing already. They are dead. They will have a heroic death in battle. It's about the archers, too. And the moon strikers. Strikers are armored. I tell them archers. They're more professional, but fewer numbers. I am sorry, friend. Noble death. Captain Cantrell died. The captain is now dead. Only one sentinel remaining and she's broken. Retreating. Okay, the warriors are still fighting. Four of them still alive. They'll die. We lost the unit. They're dead. Okay, but our ranged units are still fighting. We don't want them to fight them. Lee, let's retreat. Never know what hit we will retreat with the troops. Never know what hit All of them. We'll save our ranged troops. It's the wrong path. Horde will win. We killed 32% and lost 43%. Still killed quite a few. They had a huge numerical advantage in the battle. Just run. Flee. Could probably kill some troops from here, so we have enough of a distance now. The Night Elf and Elf and Archers have a problem retreating, it seems. Retreat before it's too late! This unit looked less bad with the arms and such. Retreat, but they move back and forth all the time. Ah, it's because they fired wheel on. Now retreat. Fired wheel. Disable skirmish mode. Retreat. Disable skirmish mode. Retreat. They'll never know what hit them. Run 
straight into the end the man. The Moonstrikers are killing them still, which is good. Attack them. Knight of Lenard is a sword, Lee. Let's switch the bows and fire the enemy now. Let's attack those guys too. I lost 53%, they are leading with 3 to 10%. They also have a very larger force. Oh, this one is pretty bloodied. This Knight of an Archer. This is the captain. Kill that unit. Try to kill the captain. I'm sending a grunt unit there. Kill them. This unit. One grunt, seventy-nine island archers. Goddess, grant me strength. Mm. They do not have much armor. The orcs. Also, I believe that our archers have armor penetration. No, they don't. They have long range missiles, excellent morale, can hide enemy. Yeah. Moon strikers can have effect against armor. They can penetrate armor, but not the archer. They will break. Attack and show no mercy. Let this one know the wrath of the goddess. Let's enable skirmish mode so they don't waste themselves. Leonard Fall and Captain Usyk died. Perfect. Let's retreat to the unit now. I don't believe the moon strikers can do anything right now. They can fight in melee. We'll let them fight in melee. We'll fire at the grunts with the Knight of the Archers. They still have arrows left. Moon strikers are out of ammo. They also have swords in melee. They have twin blades. One sword in each hand. Off the grunts. These grunts look huge. I really like the models of the grunts, but there is a better grunt model in the files that might re enable at some point with skins for both, both the Burning Legion, the Horde, and the Dark Horde. The reason it wasn't used is because it looked so much better than the others, but it, it has the same style as the Trammons, I believe. And uh, the Farseers and the Blade Masters. So, not a big difference.
from from those units it look way better than the, the old work of tree models that units most of the lost. orcs are using. Okay, so they are coming here. Let's charge with the archers. And we lost the attack with the moon strikers. Emily. Strikers are not that numerous, but they are good troops. Actually, I don't want them to enter melee yet. We'll move them back. Archers handle the enemy. Skirmish mode is on for both units again. They move away if the enemy gets too close. We have spearmen, grunts, and more grunts. Now we killed 64% and lost 59%. We are leading in the percentage, but still not leading in the barometer here. Yeah. Alright, I think this unit should attack the other orc unit now. You never know what hit them. Would probably win if you play this right. If you're lucky. I think I still think they have too much too many numbers yet. Still short for the moon strikers. Probably lose the unit, but it's fine. They did a good job in the battle. Retreat before it's too late. Sometimes it's better to have heroic last stands and such. Try to kill as many of the enemy as possible. Remaining of the moon strikers. Uh, the grunts are much bigger, which I like. The older grunt models, I believe, that we used previously, they were very smaller. lose the entire unit of moon strikers. It's fine. Yeah, they are dead. Many of us don't five night of an archer so we're here. And seven over here. and orc spear throwers some grounds we will not win in melee maybe we should retreat ok 
killed 70% lost 67 They are still leading because their numbers were so much bigger than us than ours uh, Actually they can kill off this unit in melee Win against this unit, we'll see. plan to reinforce the army of Tyrande with these troops but I guess we'll have to <laughs> move Tyrande back to the Night Elven homelands and reinforce our army there before we attack the mainlands of the Horde. We will get the crossroads at least with Tyrande due to the previous victory. Other unit uh, it's firing. Goddess, let me die with an empty quiver. Exactly. Retreat before it's too late! We won't retreat here. 25 remaining. Oh. Oh, the Horde sent reinforcements. Ford Spearmen. They'll kill our Knight of Archers. No doubt, we have 17 remaining. Seven remaining alive of the unit. Nice, they have some, but they retreat to Must retreat, retreat, you fool, retreat, retreat. Okay. Field. Some of them will re uh, survive the battle and we believe uh, they will restore some of the troops of the battle too. Retreat. Retreat. I think the one with purple hair looks the best after the burnish, followed by the one with blue hair. Alright, they retreated. There's one unit left, 660, Knight of an Archer's here. Let's kill them from afar. Still have arrows left. Unit routes, High Elven Archer, Knight of an Archer's, yeah. Unit routes. Okay, uh, so... These are uh, Archer's can still fire, so we'll continue to kill some Orcs. Can fire back the work spit throwers. Ah. 
let's retreat this unit try to save the troops many we killed, we killed uh, 75% and lost 87% the attack in Mali we would still lose Hordes has too many left including the ground there Two epic battles as the night elves. I think Jaina Pratmore of Terramore should uh, not besiege the Quilbo rebels. I think she should attack the Horde instead. We'll do that in the next video. I don't want two long videos. It'll be faster to upload them. They are not too long and to process them. This one will probably still be about one hour due to two battles. from here as long as they have arrows left we could try to kill as many as possible only 46 remaining it's because of those spear throwers Let's retreat. Retreat before it's too late. Okay, we killed seventy six per cent and lost ninety one per cent as of yet. fun battle, despite us having a huge disadvantage the entire battle. Here we have some... Here is the area with the infantry fort. We are back here. See the dead warriors and sentinels. Here the battle started. Killed a lot of troops there too. The remaining 40 Knight of an Archers. They will leave very soon. Alright, so they won the battle. We'll I shall pull percent. back for now, only to strike again. Okay, close defeat, battle results, Captain Cantrell of the Night Elves who died in the battle had 433 Night Elven troops, lost 385, we have 48 remaining of the Night Elven archers, killed 913 of the enemy, orcs and trolls of the horde, and we took 3 prisoners, Captain Usek died of the horde, he had 1214 orcs and trolls, he lost 779 men, some of his men were restored, otherwise it would have been like 900. Um, he has 435 remaining, so he lost like two thirds of his army, and he killed 169 troops. For force, we had two units of Night Elven archers, one unit of Fable Moon Strikers, and two units of infantry, one Sentinel unit, and one Night Elven warrior unit. Uh, they took 11 prisoners, and here are the details. We can see that the Sentinel's bodyguard. Captain killed 
23 enemy troops I think 73 actually pretty good uh, moon strikers kill 296 of the enemy night alone archer unit kill 274 another one 270 and then the warriors killed 90 I believe okay I believe the stream on steam stopped again it's not very stable unfortunately it sucks used to work Steam upload has stopped too far behind, okay. One shot, one kill. Horde moved a merchant the there. They took the crossroads. For the Some have it. Don't want to marry off Tyrand, uh, freeze all the mar married to the other leader. Prisoners, prisoners executed a horde. Yeah, they killed the prisoners they took in the last battle. Relations worse than the trade coalition of the Goblin Trade Empire. Yes, so so relations with them because they are also allied to, uh, are allied to us, but also allied to the horde. A noble death from the start. Um, so, a noble death. It's Elaine, Frost Knight, family member died, the junior general died in the battle, yeah. The first battle with Tyrande. End of turn report, the trade coalition has the strongest military in the world. Uh, the Scourge, the Under, they have uh, the best financial situation. And the Lions of Lordaeron has the best production, the largest population, and the best overall strongest faction. As of turn 28, in the reign of Chaos, Warcraft 3 campaign. Resistance is futile at crossroads. We had one victory and one defeat. Much troops. We have a new Ice army. Upon the wind. They want to use to attack mainland horde areas. I can Over wait no there. longer. Report. Nasha. Her army. The hunt awaits. She will attack mainland horde territory here. We also want um, these the troops. Point the way. Done. On your mark. We are yours to command. I stand. Trust in my command. Okay, we'll move a unit point off. The way. So I believe swordsman there. The goddess agrees. I am vigilant. Okay. We have two units here that we want to command. add, but we can't we reach the command. army this turn. So we won't move them. Here we have some new Point troops. We'll move them down. Say no more. I stand ready. Point the way. Done. Waiting on you. Try to move them to Tyrande as soon as possible. Okay, here we have another army. We are building in case the Burning Legion will attack us. I Use the My prey is near. assassin to destroy their building. We don't need to watch the Vanilla Media. Succeeded. Salomon Main Weaver. Sabotage missing success. And that horse stables were destroyed. Burning Legion. Okay, I stand let's ready. move this unit Say no more. to Stellas. We need more troops there. We need at least seven troops there. So a lot of lone generals we are in different places. Done. I stand ready. Some I of them have custom the models way. on the map and in battle. I stand ready. Okay. So I around there command. she needs nine units. She will get two there command. and two there. Means four units for Tyranda. Trust in my command. She needs five more. And uh, this place will get two more. Then she needs they need five. We need to recruit more troops. 
It's best to recruit from Nordra Sil the tree where the best troops available there. We could use some cavalry units. I believe the mounted sentries and the mounted knight of warriors. More cavalry, good. Alright. To manage taxes, I have forgotten to put that in the middle here. Okay. Let's end the turn. Actually, we still have money. Might want to spend it on other troops. Elsewhere. Okay. Here we can actually go for some Shadow Glen Guardians. Donassus, I think. It's best the troops available. Go for the Moon Priestesses there. Sentries, triads. Actually, we don't need two units of sentries. We'll use the huntresses. Go for the huntresses there. Mm, the moon priests are pretty costly. Let's go for the normal tigers. One unit on the archers. Some spearmen. Some archers. Go for the archers, some spearmen. No, we don't need a spearmen. Yeah, I think we'll go for the spearmen. We need more troops. Okay, let's end the turn. We are on Terramore's turn. And the turn report same as before. Okay, destruction of Terramore. We are constructing everywhere. Troops will go from Militia and Nordwatch. In Brackenwall, we don't need to recruit that unit. And Terra more the capital will go for human cavalry. And uh, Terra more golden pikes, their elite pike unit will go for them. They're mostly militia troops and normal human troops. If we had one elite unit, the pikemen, so we went for it. Okay, and Terramore's army will move that army away. Lift the siege, move over here. Then we'll end the turn. Terramore needs to also attack the Horde, they are still pretty strong, they have numbers, they have armies. Candidate for adoption. I don't know. Yeah, we could use a new general, we lost one previously. Uh, relations report, we have very poor relations with the Frack Trolls, the, the Desert Trolls, and the Burning Legion, the Demons, and the Ankara Insects. Like Starship Troopers styled. Arachnid Insects, but they are not Arachnids, they are Salitid. They look similar to the Arachnids of Starship Troopers. Okay, hostilities ceased, the Gerbashi and the Stormwind. So, so Stormwind is a human faction and Gerbashi are the jungle trolls. Okay, we have new troops in many places. Perfect. End of turn report. Stormwind is now the strongest faction in the world and has the best military. Okay. They are over in Eastern Kingdoms, they are not a problem for us. I smell something vile upon the wind. We must hurry. We can get trolls here. Hey, troll ambushers, but they are not available because we have a full-sized army. Talk is cheap. Come face me. We fight that battle in real time. I am vigilant. So, Tyrande will we move must back. I await your their command. Homelands. I stand ready. Same. Right away. I stand back. I she has a fully sized army. 
Point the way. Cavalry here. We are yours Perfect. to command. On your mark. We are yours to command. All of these are cavalry. We are yours to command. Okay, we'll move them down to Tyrannus Army. Trust in my command. We need one more unit. Okay, cavalry ready. unit. It's better to stand because they can move further ready. each turn. I so await we have your all command. the units you needed. Check if we can uh, construct something. Siege works in order sail. It's a huge city. Largest form of settlement. I don't see any of the, the guidance of the night elves, like the entrance of war and the mountain guidance. They are only available from some places, but I don't exactly remember where. They don't seem to be available from Nordrasil, their capital. Weird. I want to look that up. Maybe we need a different building. Yeah, we need this building. To get even more. Good troops. We need money for that, then we'll have to wait. We won't recruit anything. But we have a battle to fight here. Must be cautious. Nature the huntress. Drive the foul brutes back for the watchers. Let none survive. Okay, so they have two peon units, one unit of Taran warriors. And then they have some orc spearmen, grunts, and uh, dog spear headhunters. We'll say the game here continue in the next episode. This was still a longer episode than I had planned to play. So we did two battles and some movements on the map. Jaina Pradmore of Terramore will also move down and aid the Night Elves in the fight against the Horde. We have at least three settlements in the mainland of the Horde and then we have an Iyer here that might be held by undead rebels or by the Horde by this point. <coughs> and then we have this area where their leader is but we can't take it until um, uh, unless we have taken the rest of the areas otherwise they will be destroyed. Okay, so Nasha will fight this battle against Captain Asran of the Horde with 786 troops during the next episode. Nasha has an army of 1684 Night Elven troops. I already saved. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.